Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon training team. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to animate something using the character tools, but at the same time apply collisions and simulation using the mix animation. In this scene where I've removed all the simulation related objects, I have this joint setup where I can move this tentacle in all sorts of directions using my joint goal. So let me undo that. So let's make it react to the motion and simulations. So I want it to collide with this object and at the same time I want it to be a bit softer. So let's start the tube and let's go and add a collider tag. And that's all we need to do with the tube. Now let's go to the tentacle over here and uh, right click and go and add a soft body tag. In its current state it's not going to work. So if I press play and move this, nothing is going to happen. So let me stop my animation and rewind. So we need to set something up. We need to go to our simulation tag and go to the mix animation. This is going to force the points to follow the actual animation an object has, regardless of where this is coming from. In this particular case, it's coming from the character tools and the skin deformer. Now we have two options. I'm going to use the with force which is more of a soft way to get your points to comply to this animation. Whereas the pins is a more absolute way to get them in those positions. I'm going to increase the strength to two because I saw that this is the best result. And if I press play now and move this, I'm starting to get some of that motion. Now, I'm not happy enough, so let's go and change a few things. Stop rewind and undo. In my simulation tag, where the soft bodies are set, I want to change a few things. First of all, I want the maximum number of poles to be 11. The next thing is I'm going to increase the spread to 180 degrees, so I can get a few of these soft body poles across these loops of points. I'm also going to decrease the softness to zero, and I'm going to go to the balloon, activate it, and just add a very small value of 1.2, just to retain some of the volume. Now let's go to the soft body, turn this off because it's a bit distracting, and see what happens. There you go. That's all you need to do to create these kinds of animations, where you have character animation and some sort of interaction with the environment. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.